What's up, fam? We'll be back, back on your video. This one's gonna be about five signs the Holy Spirit is working through you. I always get asked a lot. It's probably one of the most asked questions, you know, Mark, how do I know I have the Holy Spirit? So this video is gonna be a confirmation and answer all your questions, especially number four. I think number four, number three. Oh, number three, people ask that so many times. All right, so number one, let's get it, let's go, is you will go through a complete transformation. When you have the Holy Spirit, it even says in Romans chapter 12, verse one to two, that the renewing of your mind. So um, now this is not going to be an overnight thing. This is going to take years. Even so today, I've been on this walk for five years. I'm still transforming. I'm still renewing, uh, becoming better. Uh, maybe there's certain sins that I don't even know I struggle with and I'm trying to fight off. Um, so it's going to be complete transformation. The way you talk, the way you dress, the people you surround yourself with. Uh, the music you listen to, the shows you watch. I mean, the list goes on. So it's going to be a complete transformation. And like I said, it's not overnight. It's going to be over time. And like I said, I've been on this walk for five years and still I still see transformation. So it could be seasons. And it's, this is what the Holy Spirit walking with God is all about, is that you're always changing. And, you know, through his love and mercy, he gives us time to change. It's not like, oh, we got to, you know, do it instantly. But is slowly transformation. So that's why I'm always patient with people. And you should also be patient with yourself too as you're transforming. A lot of you guys who, who decided to walk this uh, narrow path, um, be patient with yourself. And I may, I'm not saying be lazy, or don't try it, but I'm saying, you know, it's all baby steps. Even when a baby, before a baby walks, they gotta crawl. So when you're on this walk, you know, um, it's so just slow, take baby steps. Don't be lazy and just wait on God to do everything. You know, you gotta actually apply your faith with works, okay? Number, that's number one. So you will go through a complete transformation to renew in your mind. It's going to be a complete 360. Like I look back at myself five years from now, like I look at the picture and I'm like, wow, I don't even know who that person is. I mean, being born again, that's what it's about. Number two is you will grow more fruits of the spirit. Okay. A lot of people ask me all the time, you know, how do I know the Holy Spirit? So we know what the Bible says. Uh, in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 23, it talks about the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, faith, uh, meekness, self-control, uh, kindness, um, faith. Uh, I'll leave a verse somewhere up here. So you, I, I, hopefully I'm saying all that right. I, I, I always miss like one. And every time I'm done with the video, I'm like, oh, I forgot that one. Humble or whatever. All right, I'll leave it right here. Okay, so that is the fruit of the Spirit. So when you're bearing those uh, those fruits, I, that clearly is a sign that the Holy Spirit is operating through you. Now, um, just because like you might be struggling with like me, I struggle with patience, uh, long suffering. I'm always in a rush. Like I, I just, uh, I'm always in a rush, right? So that's something that I'm working on even five years from now. So if you're struggling with one, doesn't mean that, oh, I don't have the Holy Spirit. It just means that you got to work on it. We all have to work. We all have to apply our faith to work, to better ourselves, to better, to make sure that Christ is increasing in us and we are decreasing our flesh um, you know, our worldly passions, our worldly desires, all that is vanity. We got to make sure that Christ is increasing in us. Okay. So you make sure that you're growing more of the fruits of the spirit. Okay. And like I said, this is, it's not going to happen overnight. It doesn't work like that. So be patient with yourself, just like how God is patient with you. All right. Number three is you will be able to test people's spirits. Okay. So many people ask me this, like, Mark, how do I test people's spirits? Every time I talk about that on my video, about, you know, knowing about demons, devils, agents, uh, satanic agents, stuff like that, right? People ask, you know, Mark, how do I test someone's spirit? You know, and the Bible talks about this in 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. It says, test the spirits because many false prophets have gone out to the world. So one thing about testing someone's spirits, without the Holy Spirit, you can't, you can't have, you can't test someone's spirit. You don't have no, you don't have no discernment. Because the Bible says, which I'm going to go over in number four, that discernment is a gift of the Holy Spirit. Discerning the spirits, and that's a gift of the Holy Spirit. So how would you be able to discern the spirit if you don't have the Holy Spirit? That's why I ask you guys all the time. And even the Bible says that if you ask God for the Holy Spirit, God will give it to you freely. And Jesus talked about this. It says that uh, when, you know, if fathers give gifts to their children who are evil, then God will go give, give gifts to those who ask for it. And I'll leave that verse right there on the screen. So make sure you ask God. Remember, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find, right? Okay, so or knock and it shall be given to you. Okay, so how do you ask God for the Holy Spirit? And that's to be the number one main thing you should be doing. Okay, so then, then after that, then it's a slow process. Okay, I remember when I asked God for the Holy Spirit way back in the days, like almost like eight years ago. It wasn't until three years when I started to really, you know, or, you know, I got I to gotta really be all about, you know, repent, really be about this walk, really be about that life, bro. Really be about that life. So spiritual discernment will unlock. OK, one thing about the Holy Spirit, bro, I could tell this. I could see a deceiver. Now, my discernment wasn't as sharp as it was three years ago, four years ago. But as I started to age and get older and gain more wisdom, 
uh, more knowledge, um, you know, spending more time with the Holy Spirit, having a relationship with the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Okay, every time I have, it's like as I get older and more on this path, it's like God blesses me more with spiritual gifts, more discernment, more wisdom, more knowledge, which I'm going to go over in the next one, all the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's the, people ask me this all the time, you know, Mark, is this person the false prophet or is this person of God or something like that so you want to make sure that you have the Holy Spirit so you could test someone's spirit because the Bible doesn't say that go and ask someone to test someone's spirit so they can tell you if they're of God or not it says you should try the spirits okay and to try someone's spirits you got to have the Holy Spirit like I said if you don't have the Holy Spirit ask God he will give it to you freely okay so you have spiritual discernment unlocked you'll be able to uh, discern between good and evil okay number four is spiritual powers okay yes now and i'm not talking about the powers like in the movies or like um you know that the worldly types of powers you know where you can like like goku or you know whatever right or like spider-man <laughs> batman or something i'm not talking about that or the hulk nah i'm talking about the bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8 it says that you receive power when the holy spirit comes upon you okay you'll receive power what does that mean it means that you know how most people of this world that live in fear even when i talk about when i make videos about like the mark of the beast um like the video i made yesterday about, or two days ago about the mark of the beast um you know the new world order the things they're pushing on the people and i see a lot of people in the comment section like people are like afraid and scared and stuff like that and it's like well when you have the holy spirit you're not afraid of what's to come because you know that you're preserved and you know that through your obedience you're good Okay, you're good. If you keep on walking the straight and narrow path, you, nothing, nothing could harm you, nothing can, can touch you. And when you truly have the Holy Spirit, you don't know what fear is, okay? Fear is no longer existent. So you have power. You can walk in the streets of the hood, of anywhere. Now, we're not going to go out there and tempt God. And, you know, if we know that there's a shooting out there, we're not going to go walk out. But you just have power. You're no longer in fear. You could, you're bold. You know, like when I first, like when I was 25, when I first started preaching, right? I lost all my friends, all like everyone just, I'm so weird, but I had the Holy Spirit and I was fired up. I didn't care about people judging me, uh, people putting me down, making fun of me for my faith. Uh, even though the Bible says, uh, let no man despise a youth. Okay. Um, and you know, when you're in your youth, you know, most people in their youth are, they're not really on that path. And so always understand that when you have the Holy Spirit, like you're not going to be afraid to get online, make a video, or maybe if you're led to street preach, hit the highways and byways, you're not going to be afraid of that. Okay. And Next one up was number four too as well, but it says the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Now, let me read this verse to you guys. This is in Corinthians. This is in Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 to 12. Uh, so one Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 to 12. And I'll leave a verse right here so you guys can read along. So it says, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit with, with all. Okay. For one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, and another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, and to another faith by the same Spirit. And to another, gifts of healing by the same spirit. And to another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. And to another, discerning of spirits. As I was talking, okay? And to another, uh, many kinds of tongues. And to another, the impartation of tongues. But all these work that one is of the same self spirit, divided to every man, servilely as he will, okay? So it says, um, since we're the body of Christ, right? We all have each, each, some of us have the, the tongues to speak. Some of us have hands so to labor, to work. Some of us are the legs. Some of us are the eyes, the seers, the, the discerners of spirits. Okay, so we all have, it's all one body, okay? So you have the spiritual powers and you're going to have those gifts of the Holy Spirit. You're going to have wisdom. You're going to have knowledge. You're going to be able to discern the spirits, okay? Some of you guys will, will prophesy. Okay, some of you guys, well, the list goes on, okay? Uh, the gift of faith. That's even the gift of the Holy Spirit, having true faith. All right, number five is your obedience will win many souls. Oh, I should have put many, but your obedience will win many souls over to the kingdom, okay? Because the Holy Spirit works to you to work to other people, okay? So the Holy Spirit works to you so you can minister to someone, so you can plant a seed. The Bible says the right, um, he that winneth souls is wise, okay? He that wins, and it also says in Romans chapter 5, verse 19, it says that through one man's obedience, many were made righteous. And through one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, okay? So that that t that uh, prosperity gospel, um, the free gift, free grace gospel at the tickling ears okay that's going to make many people sinners going to keep people stuck in their sins but through your obedience you know you taking you talking about repentance you talking about keeping god's commandments uh you, you know that's going to that's going to get many people to be obedient 
Okay, so so your obedience to the Holy Spirit working through you is going to win many souls over into the kingdom. In Romans chapter five verse twelve. So these are the five signs the Holy Spirit is working through you. You will work. You will go through a complete transformation. Number two is you will grow more of the fruits of the Spirit. Number three is you will be able to test people's spirits. Number four is spiritual powers. Uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit. Number five is your obedience will win many souls over for the kingdom. I hope you guys got edified and learned a lot from this video. If you have already, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. And if you guys do wish to support me, uh, my links will be down below in the description. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.